Hi, hi! So, welcome back to DML, and today we will be unlocking the Bonsai. So, with exactly one day left, we have one Collect Gold left to go. And there we go, Spring Fiesta Milestone complete, and there is our cutie, our little Bonsai Dragon right there. So, um, we did have quite a lot of leeway with this event. And we also unlocked this badge, so display this to show your accomplishments, the Blooming Badge. So, they seem to be doing this now where all new events you get a badge to signify that you completed it. So, if we can get as many of those badges as possible, we will do that. But popping the bonsai into our hatchery gives it a one day and two hour hatching time. So it's still going to take forever until we actually hatch the guy. But for now, you know, at least we can take solace in the fact that the event is done, over with, we don't have to worry about it anymore. So, you know, good work to us, and if you manage to get the bonsai too, then good work to you. So the solo event might be over, but we actually have quite a few mini events coming within the next week or so. Because on the in-game news feed, they did post the schedule for next week. So Arya is here with news about upcoming events. Check out what's going to happen next week. May 14th to 18th, there's a Great Dragon Race and a Crowded Nursery event. May 18th to the 21st is a Weekend Dragon Race. So are you up for another race over the weekend? Compete with other clans for another three days. May 18th to the 21st is dinner time, and of course the Dragon of the Week is the Lunar Dragon. So that is like four different events that are going on, and a weekend dragon race. So that is kind of like a an almost mini solo event, but just in clan terms. So that should be interesting. We'll see if there's any bonus rewards or anything like that coming along with it. Probably not, but... You know, some people are like, there's too many events going on, and all sorts. But to be honest, with the clan events, you know, it's one of the less annoying events that you have to be around for all the time, because normally with the clan stuff, unless you're in a super serious clan, you can just sort of, you know, do some stuff every now and then, but it isn't all too serious. Nothing terrible goes on or anything like that, if you don't even compete that much. So, you know, if you are into taking part in the clan events, having two of them, why not? You know, enjoy it. Enjoy it. But, I mean, I do like doing clan events because they not only give you the dragon pieces, but obviously they also give you points, which you can either use for card pack stuff, or you can use them on clan dragons. Like Gravelis here, he's quite useful when it comes to arena stuff, because, you know... Like I said yesterday, Dragon Scale League 1 can be very, very difficult depending on the team that you have, and Gravelus helps out a lot. So having a lot of clan points just spare so that you can use them on stuff like that is very, very handy. Very, very handy indeed. I mean, at the end of the day, you can probably get through it without using Gravelus anyway, but it just makes it 2 billion times easier. So you might as well use it if you've got it there. But... You know, with the event, a few people were saying, can you even do this event without sleeping or with sleeping because the other ones were really, really bad? This event was basically the same as old events. And with the old events, I used to be working like up to 16 hours a day. And I, I still used to finish those old events. And this is basically the same kind of event where even I had a day spare. But realistically, you had like three days and something hours spare that you could like miss out on refreshers and stuff like that and still finish the event. So, you know, these kind of events are still, I feel to me, a little bit too draining and still take up a little bit too much time for people. But they're definitely a lot better than the last two that we had recently, being the, the Dragon's Delight and the other solo event. So, you know, if we can keep the events to this difficulty at the absolute max, I think that that would be perfect. Because, again, it's just not fair that people cannot have any chance of completing the event if they just have a job. And kids. Like, that's a little bit too much in my books. Like, at least make it doable for, like, everyone. As long as they just log into the game for a couple of hours max a day. 
Because at the moment with how the events are, it's like you have to be logging in every couple of hours, every five hours or so, which means you have to be keeping track with timers and stuff like that. What if something unexpected happens one of those days and you suddenly have to, I don't know, go somewhere for like eight hours? Well, then you're missing out on some time, aren't you? So, it's just, it, it kind of... The way the DML events work, they just sort of hinder what you can do in that week that the event's on. So that's my main gripe, and always has been, with these events. And even this one, it still does that to an extent. And again, because I was on PC and I wasn't home for a couple of days, I just gave up. Because I was like, I'm not doing this. I am not missing out on any sleep to finish the event off. So I just did it all on mobile. Even while I was out, I was logging in a bit. Which is why, you know, PC accounts kind of suck major baloney sometimes. But, you know, we do what we can. We do what we can. God damn it, I want my apprentices to actually level up. And I want to find the last two apprentice slots. Why is the game going to be like this? Like, why do I have to sit here and press this button for like 20 minutes straight? before I get an apprentice. You know, the idea behind the apprentice system, sure, it sounded exciting, it sounded like it could have been fun, but, oh god, the implementation of it, it was... Uh, uh, I would like to argue that it was not the most optimal thing. Maybe I'm just being very mean, but, oh god, just... There needs to be a better way to find apprentices. There has to be a better way, because just using that button all the time is the most painful thing in the world. Like, if there was a little searchable way to see a bunch of low-level people that have signed up, and then you can choose which one you want to you wanna mentor, maybe that would be a better idea, so that you can actually see people that are on. But as it stands, you don't even know if there's people around. Like, am I just going to be sitting there pressing that button until the day I die? Possibly. And that's very, very scary. Like, I don't want the death of me to be looking for an apprentice in game for DML. Because that's what it feels like when you're just sitting there, spamming the button, over and over, hoping, praying, God, give me someone! And then you finally get someone, and then they don't even speak your language, and then they just log in for three days and then never log back in again. That is how the apprentice system has turned out. And it's very unfortunate, because I really want that Professor Dragon. And we still have seven apprentices left to go. Assuming these two that we have now actually graduate, then that means that we'll only need five more. But that's another five. Which means it'll take double the amount of time compared to what it already has. Oh god. It's already been out like two months or something, hasn't it? Why does it have to be so painful? I mean, I even have my referral code slot that's being used up. So, like, people going out of their way to use my code are the ones that are being... or the ones that are actually graduating most of the time. Except for the last person that didn't log in for 17 days. And then I was like, yeah, you know what, I think it's time to, to cut them loose. I think, I think they've given up on me and I've given up on them. So... That was a, a sad moment, but it had to happen. Because otherwise I'd just be sitting there, waiting every day. Are they coming back? Are they are they gonna level up the final two levels they need to give me the thing I want? No. The answer was no. <sighs> and I, I, I just think that it really does need a revamp. There are other things in game though that probably need to be fixed first or changed first. It's not that much of a priority because it is very much just a side bonus thing. But, oh God. I wish it worked. <laughs> I, I wish it worked as intended because it has worked for some people, don't get me wrong. Like, there are a few people that got the professor straight away. It worked out really well for them. But from. The majority of experiences from what I've heard, it has not been the best. Let's just say it like that. But anyway, you know, look forward to all those new events coming next week. Look forward to the Lunar Dragon, 
which obviously we'll have the breeding guide out tomorrow anyway, even though we probably already have a good idea of, you know, all the, the troubles that could possibly happen with breeding him. But for now, enjoy your bonsai or your pataya or whatever you got out of the event and whatever else. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing about when the the new dragons that got added in the game in the next update are actually going to be released. Because it's been a good while now, so game loft. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that notification. Anyway, for now, thank you very much for being here, and I'll see you next time.